find the minimum value of x square plus y square plus z square given that ax plus by plus cz that is equal to p. So here the we have to find out the value of this objective function that is x square plus y square plus z square the minimum value of this function and the constant condition the constant given is ax plus by plus cz is equal to p. So this is the constraint or condition given and we can solve it by using constraint maximization using Lagrange multiplier. As I have discussed previously, the equation for the constraint maximization using Lagrange multiplier is fxyz that is equal to fxyz plus lambda uh, phi xyz. Here fxyz this is the objective function and the objective function is given x square plus y square plus z square. I have written here plus lambda. Lambda is the uh, Lagrange multiplier and phi xyz this is the constraint or condition and the condition is given ax plus by plus cz is equal to p. And to solve this uh, Lagrange multiplier method first we have to take the partial derivative of the function with respect to x, then partial derivative with respect to y, then partial derivative with respect to z to 0. And taking the partial derivative of this function with respect to x, we will get for this it will be equal to 2x and for this the partial derivative with respect to x will be equal to lambda a. So 2x plus lambda a will be equal to 0. So lambda value will be equal to minus 2x divided by a. Suppose this is equation number 1. Similarly, when you find out the partial derivative of this function with respect to y to 0, what will be the partial derivative of this function with respect to y? This will be equal to 2y and partial derivative of this with respect to y will be equal to lambda b. So 2y plus lambda b will be equal to 0. So lambda will, um, will be equal to minus 2y divided by b. Suppose this is equation number 2. Similarly, you can also find out the partial derivative of f with respect to z to 0, partial derivative of um, x square plus y square plus z square that is the objective function will be equal to 2z and for the constraint um, function it will be equal to lambda c that will be equal to 0, so lambda will be equal to minus 2z divided by c. So you have three equation, 1, 2, 3, this three equation having left hand side same that is why minus 2x by a will be equal to minus 2y by b that will be equal to minus 2z by c or x by a will be equal to y by b that will be equal to z by c suppose it is equal to k. So what will be x? x will be equal to ak, y will be equal to bk and z will be equal to ck. And now we will put the value of x, y and z in the constraint equation. The constraint equation is ax plus by plus cz equal to p. So if you put the value of ax a, a k here, it will be equal to a square k. Putting the value of y equal to b k here, it will be equal to b square k. Putting the value of z equal to c k, it will be equal to c square k. That will be equal to p. So you can find out the value of k, the constant we have taken here. So k will be equal to p divided by a square plus b square plus c square. So what will be the um, objective function? Now the objective function will be equal to x square plus y square plus z square. And what will be x square? a square k. What will be y square? b square k. What will be z square? c square. Sorry, a square k square, b square k square, c square k square. So you can take k square common. So in the bracket you have a square plus b square plus c square and k value have found out this. So k square will be equal to p square divided by a square plus b square plus c square whole square. Then if you take the come uh, do the simplification, then it will be equal to p square divided by a square plus b square plus c square. So this is the uh, minimum value. This is the minimum value of the objective function that is x square plus y square plus z square. Um, uh, where the constraint condition is x plus by plus cz is equal to p. So by constraint maximization using Lagrange multiplier 
we can find out the maximum or minimum value of a given function or the objective function and this is very useful in uh, various computer programming thank you